Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Haverford Township Free Library and welcome to this week's Pajama Storytime. Tonight we're going to read about yawning and instead of our regular silly lullaby, I have a special yawning yellowby for you to sing for you tonight. So let's get started. This is I Dare You Not to Yawn by Helene Boudreau. Yawns are sneaky. They can creep up on you when you least expect them. There you are, minding your own business, building the tallest block tower in the history of the universe, or dressing up the cat. Cats don't like that. When suddenly, your arms stretch up, your eyes twist tight, your mouth opens wide, your tongue curls back, and yawn pops out. Next thing you know, you're being sent upstairs to get your pajamas on. Pajamas lead to bedtime stories. Bedtime stories lead to sleepy time songs. And sleepy time songs lead to good night hugs and kisses. Before you know it, you're tucked into bed, snug as a bug and wondering, how did I get here? So, if you're not ready to go to bed, follow these tips and do not yawn. If someone else yawns, like your baby brother or your big sister or the dog, ah, look away! Yawns are like colds. They spread. Stay away from huggable stuffed animals, soft, cozy pajamas, and your favorite blankie because mm, those things make you feel snuggly. Avoid bedtime stories about sleepy baby animals like tiger cubs arching their backs and one last stretch, their eyes squished tight, their tongues curled back. Oh, or you might start to feel stretchy too. Don't sing sleepy time songs about twinkling stars or baying sheep, especially the counting kind. One sheep, two sheep, ba ba ba. And whatever you do, don't think of droopy-eyed baby orangutans holding their long arms out for a hug from their mamas. Their little mouths forming perfect O's, O's, O's. Oh! Oh. If you try all these things, but a yawn still creeps up and grabs a hold of you, quick, cover your mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To keep it from escaping. Because if your arms stretch up, oh, your eyes squish tight, and your mouth opens wide, and your tongue curls back, and a yawn pops out. Mm -hmm. Oh. <sighs> Then, off to bed you'll go. See? I told you yawns were sneaky. Oh, but look. Doesn't he look so snuggly and cozy, comfy? The end. That is I Dare You Not to Yawn by Helene Boudreau. And I'm sure some of you probably yawned during that story, didn't you? Because yawns are contagious. But if you didn't yawn during that story, then I think you will definitely yawn during this song. So grab your snuggle buddy, whether it's a stuffed animal or your grown up or a sibling or a blanket or a pillow or a pet or just yourself. I have a new song for you just for tonight. It's called The Yawn Song and it's by Brian Odent. So get your snuggle buddy because if you didn't yawn during that story, you're gonna yawn during this song. You're gonna yawn before this song is over. You're going to yawn before this song is gone. You can try with all your might, but I know that I am right. Here it comes, you're about to yawn. You're going to yawn before this song is finished. You're going to yawn before this song is through. 
You can give it all you've got, but you'll still yawn a lot. Here it comes, a big yawn now from you. Ooh, you're gonna yawn before the song is over. You're gonna yawn before this song is gone. You can try with all your might, but I know that I am right. Here it comes, you're about to yawn. Ooh, here it comes, you're about to yawn. Did it work? Did you yawn? And you can admit it. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did, because I did. I mean, I really yawned during that song there. So, and uh, it helped having my snuggle buddy here with me. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed our silly yawning theme tonight, and I hope you will join me next week for some more silly pajama story time, and I hope you come into the library to say hello and check out some books. We've missed you. We want to say hello. Bye for now.